And we are following some breaking news this morning on two separate overnight shootings in Indianapolis. And among those victims, a 10 year old child. Both are hospitalized right now. Our Michael Van Skoik is here now with everything we've gathered from police during the overnight hours so far. Michael. Hey, good morning, Zach. Right now we know that the latest shooting happened shortly after or excuse me, shortly before two o'clock this morning. Uh, this one took place at a home on East 21st Street. Uh, police found multiple people inside, including a 10 year old boy, as you mentioned, who had been shot. Officers rendered medical aid to the child and then took him to a local hospital. We're told he is in stable condition, though. Police are still investigating, but believe someone fired into the home from out outside striking the young boy while he was sleeping in his bed. It's a callous act and I can assure you that the uh, the members of the Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department and the detectives that are assigned to this case will do everything in our power to bring this person to justice and hold them accountable for the actions that they committed tonight. Meanwhile, police received their first call at 1015 last night. They found an adult man shot inside a home on West 32nd Street. They say he was shot inside the home and this incident happened just two streets from where shots were fired into a home on Wednesday morning. Last night, the man was taken to a local hospital and is in critical condition. Right now, there are no suspects in either investigation yet, so police are, of course, asking for help from the public. You can call Crime Stoppers at 317-262-TIPS. Of course, you can remain anonymous at that number. In the studio, Michael Van Skoik, Fox 59 News. Michael.